I was basically a victim of an experiment. She was one of the original megastars of the adult film industry. At the height of her fame, Elizabeth Starr underwent a dangerous operation to increase her breasts to an O-sized cup. So that is 47 inches. The now banned string implant procedure had dire consequences and despite 63 corrective surgeries, Elizabeth now lives every day in fear that she could die at any time. I'm a ticking time bomb because anything could happen to me. For 20 years Elizabeth made a living as an adult entertainer, but then realised the studios favoured one look in particular. I uh, wanted to further my career and call the shots by having larger breasts. In 1999, Elizabeth underwent a controversial procedure using synthetic string implants to stimulate fluids in her breasts, increasing them from an F to an O-sized cup. But not everything went to plan. I was lied to and I was told that it was approved by the FDA. Both my breasts were growing with fluid, getting bigger, larger. The string procedure is now banned but for Elizabeth, the effects of the operation were devastating. A lot of us got sick, walking around months and months with staph infections in our body, eating away the breast tissue, killing us slowly. With one string implant deeply embedded in her left breast and a saline implant in her right, she lives every day fearing the next infection could be fatal. And living with supersized breasts poses other challenges. Sometimes I, I bump into walls <laughs> because my boobs reach the walls or the corners before I do. I can't buy a bra off the rack. <laughs> I have to have things custom made or altered. I'm laughing, but you know, these are just things that really aren't funny. Elizabeth's enhanced appearance elicits strong opinions. God damn! You know, look at that man, you know? But uh, she's gorgeous. She's very gorgeous. Nah, I've never seen boobs that size anywhere. It's probably definitely the biggest set of boobs I've ever seen. It's uh, abnormal to me. It's weird. Fifteen years after the controversial surgery, Elizabeth still requires regular examinations. Dr. Alex Sinclair has been looking after her for the last eight years. Elizabeth, please put your head back. Recline. Over the years, I've seen cases of polypropylene string implants. I've never seen a case like this. Elizabeth's future is uncertain. I presented Elizabeth's case at the local medical society, and uh, pretty much the unanimous sentiment was that uh, she needed a double mastectomy. Faced with such a drastic ultimatum, Elizabeth has a tough decision to make. It's hard when you have been a victim of something. I had a career, I had to take care of my kids, and I was basically a victim of an experiment. I have one option other than to live like this, and that would be to face a mastectomy. I honestly don't think that I could face getting a mastectomy and being reconstructed. Although choosing to live in fear over more risky surgery, Elizabeth hopes her story will act as a warning to others looking to extreme surgery. If you're going to try to attempt to become as busty as I am, you are at an extreme risk and you have to know what you're dealing with because it will change your life forever.